Okay, I open Bridge. Now, the purpose of this particular video is to show you how to create PDF contact sheets in using Bridge. And um, this is part of an assignment I gave. I asked my students to take 48 photographs. I'm expecting 12 uh, contact prints per page. Uh, resulting in 12 pages. So when they hand it in on D2L, I am expecting to see four pages of PDFs. Now, I've already opened Bridge. I'm going to deselect all my items. And these are my photographs. And um, I obviously don't have 48, but the process is still the same. Now I'm going to select all, Command A. I have my images selected. That's a very important first start. And I'm going to go to Photoshop. And then I'm going to go to Contact Sheet 2. Now when I go to Contact Sheet 2, what I have is it's going to open up Photoshop. Now I already have Photoshop open, so I don't have to wait quite as long as you may. But Photoshop will open and all my images are going to be coming from Bridge and I'm going to make sure my document size is inches and my width and my height I'm going to keep at 8, and eight by 10 and because I'm shrinking all these images I'm going to go with the one in, um, 150 uh, uh, pixels per inch not a problem there's the RGB I'm going to keep that and I'm going to retain this as my standard RGB setting, and that'll be fine as well. Um, I'm going to make sure that everything is flattened, and I, that is also uh, a default setting, so you don't really need to do anything. My thumbnails I'm going to ask to be placed um, across the page, uh, reading left to right, top to bottom. And I'm going to say, okay, let it out of space. I don't want to interfere. Uh, it works just fine. And because I have 48 images that I'm asking you to uh, put in PDF form for me or PDF contact sheets, um, I'm going to set my columns up to three and I'm going to ask for four rows. That's going to give me 12 per page, four pages. Now, what I will also, and I don't know where your preset is, but um, I'm just going to go with the default font that uh, Bridge gives me, and it's regular, and this is 12. Now, what this says is use file name as caption. So this way you're going to be able to actually track back and find the photos on your hard drive, which will be make your life easier in weeks to come. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say OK, and this will start the process. And what you'll see is, is that I am going to, it, it's just giving me a reminder. I did that already. And if you are at school, it might also ask you whether, it might ask you something about Universal Type Server, and you're fine with that as well. So I would not worry about that. Okay, I'm just waiting for the process to begin. Here it goes. And unfortunately, my Photoshop, you're only going to see a portion of this page. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to resize my Photoshop window uh, to fit the window of this video. And what you'll see is that it's actually made me two contact sheets. And it's named one contact sheet 001 and contact sheet uh, 002. Now what I'm going to do is I have to save each of these and I have to save these separately. So I'm going to go uh, File and I'm going to do save as and I am going to save this to my desktop so I can trash it as soon as I'm done ok 
Okay, I don't want it, as, I do not want it as a PDF. I'm going to save, I mean, I do not want it as a PSD, a Photoshop file. I'm going to save it as a PDF. And what you'll find is, again, this window, unfortunately, it's bigger than my screen. Well, let's see if I can adjust my screen for you. Moving it down a little bit. Okay, save it as a Photoshop PDF. Move it back to the, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, it's telling me that the setting is uh, dialogue is overriding now my settings. That's fine. It's asking me high quality. Yes, save PDF. Okay, it says preserve it as editing. Yep, I want to do that. Okay, it's all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my next file. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. Save as. Okay, PDF. It's already set up for me. It's already on my desktop. And all I'm going to do at this point is to, because this is set, I'm going to just say, go ahead and I'm going to click save, which you don't see, but it's at the bottom of my screen on the right hand side. Okay, just continue on, save. It's giving me all of these friendly warnings, which is fine. Save. Okay, so as you can see in my, in my um, tabs, it's telling me that these are both PDFs. This is great. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I am going to open up Acrobat. I'm going to close it first. So you'll see what it'll what will happen when I open it up. I'm going to my dock, but I'm opening up Acrobat Pro. Okay, Acrobat Pro is opening. Okay, it says right here, and this is right on the main page. It's saying, can I combine these files, combine files into PDFs? Yep, that's what I want. Now what it's saying is, you know, I can either drag them if my desktop's not too messy, which it is, so I'm definitely not going to do that, but I'm going to add my files, and I'm going to add files, and what you'll find is I'm going to go to my desktop, that's my Dropbox desktop, and make this a little smaller. We can see it. Okay, under I would imagine it's under C's. Right there they are. I'm going to hold down my shift key, select both of them, and add files. Okay, so there they are. And right here I'm going to combine files. Now, there they are. They're all combined into two pages. And if I wanted to at this point, well, I will just to show you, there's, there's two, there's one. Now what I want to do is I want to do a save as. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as contact and your last name. And I'll save that to the desktop. And once that's done, I'm ready to upload that into D2L. Thank you very much.